These evening prayers have been pre-recorded, so will not be up to, to date with changing world situations, particularly thinking of the Middle East. So we take a few moments of quiet to bring before God all those people involved and affected, praying for peace, reconciliation and an end to violence, injustice and inhumanity. Welcome to Evening Prayers on Tuesday the 12th of March 2024. Our passage from the prophet Jeremiah this evening is chapter 18 verses 1 to 6. Jeremiah chapter 18 This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house, and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me. He said, can I not do with you, Israel, as this potter does, declares the Lord? Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, Israel. We have another visual message tonight. This time, the image of a potter throwing a pot. But it seems there is a problem with the clay. There is a flaw and the potter has to remake the pot in a different form using the clay as he sees best. God's message is one of challenge to the house of Israel. They are the clay in God's potter hands, and he can do what seems best with them. The verses following this short passage remind the people that God's actions are affected by people's response to him. Repentance can result in God's mercy and deliverance, Remember the Ninevites repenting when Jonah brings the message of impending disaster and God relenting, much to the annoyance of Jonah who went off and sulked. But a lack of repentance when challenged, a stubborn stubbornness of heart, will not bring about God's forgiveness or compassion. Challenging ideas. When I was at school, I enjoyed pottery and made several pots of various shapes and sizes, some better than others, but I never managed to throw a successful pot on a wheel. It's so much harder than it looks. In the hands of someone who knows what they're doing though, beautiful creations are brought into being. The image of God as the potter shaping us as the clay is a powerful one. We are all flawed, like the clay in Jeremiah's story, but God knows how to mould us, as he sees best, into something beautiful. It's not an instant process, and it requires us to allow him to work in us and to change us. It may not be an easy process at times, but we can have the confidence that God will change us for the better, change us into people of love and compassion, people who want to share with others the good news of God's transforming love through Jesus as we experience it for ourselves. So let us be open to God working in and through us as we surrender ourselves to him day by day.
let us pray. Lord Jesus, you came to give sight to the blind, healing to the sick and infirm, hearing to the deaf, life and hope to all. Thank you for all you have done and are doing in and through us. Forgive us when we fall short, when we doubt or expect the wrong things. By your Holy Spirit living within us, comfort and heal us, inspire, guide and challenge us. Work through and with us to bring the good news of your salvation and fullness of life to those we meet. In the quiet of this time, we bring to you, Lord God, those on our hearts and in our minds. For those living in fear of the future. For those who have had to flee their homes. For those who have lost all hope. For those struggling with illness. For those who don't have enough to eat or clean water to drink. For those who can't make ends meet. For the abused. For those who are lonely. For those who are bereaved. Lord, we pray for your peace, your comfort, your strength, your hope, your joy, your healing, your restoration. Help us, Lord, to be part of your answer to our prayers wherever we can as we seek to live as your ch children of your kingdom. And we remember today in our prayers our brothers and sisters in Jamaica, the Leeward Islands, Panama, Costa Rica, the South Caribbean and closer to home in the Cornwall and Isles of Scilly district. Lord, mould us, fashion us, fill us, Make us into the people you long for us to be. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we finish with the wonderful song, The Potter's Hands. See you tomorrow. Call.